Today I want to show you guys how to use InVideo AI to create TikTok videos. And by the way, my name's Chris, I own a media company and we get millions of views every single month. So I've been messing around with all of the AI video generators and you should be too, especially if you're into content and making money doing this. So some of the most popular ones are Pictory AI, InVideo AI, the new kid on the block is actually Syllabi.io. So here's a TikTok account where I've been testing AI content, right? What I do is I set TikTok shop affiliate stuff and I make AI generated videos and we make money selling product. These are some of the recent videos that I've created using AI. You can tell a difference. Some of them involve my face. Some of them don't like this one is a, an entirely faceless video, but I just want to show you guys an example of what you can expect to get using in video AI and similar tools. So in video AI, they have a couple different features. So they have a feature where you can create long form videos, which is pretty crazy, right? It's a full, in-depth AI video content like video creator which is insane but chances are we're not going to be using this right because we're looking at doing vertical TikTok reels so for the most part the content that you're going to be creating is actually you know even though it's AI generated content it's actually just doing like still shots so the vertical reel creator in in video still shots let me show you I'll click play here this is one that I created about some chewing gum that is going viral I think it's like the Nero chewing gum that has caffeine in it and I tried to create what I do is I go into chat GPT and I'll create a script and then I'll put it into invideo.ai and then it creates like it tries its best to create viral reels right like check out this image that's pretty cool and all it does is it kind of adds movement to the video see like these these are still shots but then this last clip is actually a video where the things are changing but what sucks about trying to do products is that it's a little harder because like this instance here this isn't my product so what I'd have to do is actually edit that out and actually put the product like picture of what I'm trying to sell. So the question is, is the videos that I'm creating doing well? They're doing decent, but there's actually a new tool called Syllabi AI that I'm actually having a lot better luck with because what you can do here is they actually have a spot where you can create videos here. You can choose the scenes of the videos you're looking to like create. You can do like animated fantasy. And again, you can probably tell in video AI to like do something similar, but I'm really liking this tool a lot better. And if you guys want to check out this tool, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description, but let me show you some examples of the stuff I'm creating. So what's really cool here, like this example here, this here is a video where I'm trying to sell the golly gummies. I think that's how you pronounce it, golly gummies. But as you can see here, if I click play here, I'm gonna mute this just so you don't hear it as I talk over it. So if I click play here, it seems that you're frustrated. And again, it's just using the text that it's getting from your script. What's really cool is I actually added in a product image. See this, I added a product image to my video and I just feel like the editing process process of editing these clips is a lot easier in syllabi.ai. See like this here shows us all the images that it created and I can just go in here and edit every single one of them. See like this, I can just click image generate and then just change the text, you know, like maybe gummies in shape of human brain. And then you can just click generate or you can just upload media, which is what I did right here. See, I can just choose this gully gummy and then click save. And then now that's an image of that. And I find the editing process a lot easier to work with in syllabi. So yes, we are selling products making these. You just gotta be careful on how you create them. And what I do is I edit these videos, like I'll go download this video and then I'll throw it into a video editor and then I'll make it a lot faster. See how you hover a mouse over this? It's a lot faster. What I'll tend to do is I'll increase the speed, sometimes remove the AI voice. What you kind of have to do is heat up the TikTok account and try to see like what starts to take off versus what doesn't. What's really cool about TikTok is you can upload like five times a day, which is insane. But like, this is the one we just watched. See, struggling to focus, feeling mentally drained. It's not just you, it's your brain that needs the right gummies. It looks pretty cool though, right? We'll have to see, these have been selling products. So it's really cool. And what's awesome is I'm making these videos. I don't even have the products. I just steal the product images and I just put it in there. And what's really cool is I'll repurpose these TikTok reels and I'll also publish them as it on Amazon. You should also look into being an Amazon influencer because if you're a creator, there's a lot of ways to make money with like certain product focused content. So hopefully that sheds some light on the different tools in video does work. I'll show you some of the clip. This is from my motivational channel here. I was testing some motivation ones. Everything feels like it's falling apart, doesn't it? Like no matter what you do, life just keeps hitting you. So like these do decent, but a lot of times I find that the algorithms hate the AI voice. So what I've been doing is speeding it up or else just using my own voiceover. And again, guys, if you're looking to check out any of these tools, I'll throw links in the description. Syllabi is my go-to 
do now for this. To be honest, creating AI generated reels on TikTok is just it just seems so much easier for me than in video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Please consider subscribing, guys. I'll see you in the next one.